Good morning, Facebook. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to post this video and I'll get started. I have um, a couple things to go on a rant about real quick and then I have some mainstream news. Give me one second. I'm going to post this. <laughs> don't, don't turn it off. Um, I'm still feeling these intense, crazy moon energies. Um, I don't know where you live. I live in America. So I'm really still feeling this moon energy intensely. I'm not really a fan of it. Um, I don't really like the moon energy. So I'm just kind of like throwing myself in there. Give me one sec. Don't flip this off. I'm just posting it. I'll take one minute and I'll get started. Ah. So I just was wondering, type some questions below if you have personal questions about your life and uh, be kind of like specific because I am going to answer questions. I was really short yesterday, like I was really limited for time. Um, I have a lot more time today. Give me one minute. I'm going to continue to post this. Share this video with your friends if you feel the need. It would help me immensely, I'm sure. One more. Um, so there's just a lot of big things really going on and it's always just picking up intensity It's not like ever gonna go away. Like we're having crazy news It was actually kind of quiet yesterday, which is amazing But I think that everyone was supposed to be kind of dealing with personal issues. So it was like the real world kind of took a break <laughs> Hang on one sec. I have one more I'm trying to do all right, um, so we're really just seeing things pick up intensity all the time. Um, I want to go on a rant really fast before I do like my little headlines about fluoride because I see so much confusion and I have this friend that's like semi awake and um, you know like really into like a no DAPL and like really into some kind of stuff and just waking up and actually um, argued with me about this for like 15 minutes telling me how I have amazing teeth because my water that I'm drinking is fluorinated and that's why my teeth are so good. Um, you don't I think it's maybe from the thousands of dollars of dental care I've had in my country. Maybe the braces, the 10 fillings, whatever I've had done to my teeth. Do you think that maybe that's it? I want to talk to you about what fluoride is and how it actually ends up in your water. Because I think maybe people don't really understand this concept. Um, and then I don't want to get into what else is in your water because that's not even the scary thing. Who cares about the fluoride at this point, right? So fluoride, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with like um, nuclear plants like as a nuclear waste, um, but think The Simpsons, you know, when you would come home like with the little green, you know, contamination thing and it was kind of like a joke on The Simpsons. That's really what we're talking about. We're talking about nuclear power plants, okay? Now these power plants are, um, they're emitting fumes, okay? Like the smokestacks. And that stuff is so toxic that if you or me was to live within like a certain radius of one of these nuclear power plants, we would die from breathing in those chemicals. So what they have done to kind of fix this problem is they actually have like these kind of um, containers that collect the smoke coming out of the smokestack so they don't kill us. So guess what? These chemicals are collected and they kind of like form like a sludge. Now, um, so they have barrels and barrels of this fluoride okay that is the chemical they would have to dispose of this properly there's certain like laws and regulations if they tried to dispose of this chemical they would not be able to as it is not environmentally safe they can't make it environmentally safe it doesn't matter what they do with it this is really bad stuff and it would cost them billions of dollars to be attempting to somewhat kind of dispose of it so they've really like solved the problem they decided let's just dump it in people's water then we can pocket the money. We don't have to deal with this. And guess what? In World War II, uh, fluoride was used in the Holocaust to really like sedate the people, keep them docile, whatever you want to call it. It has a drug-like effect. And that's really funny because I just found out that Prozac is pretty much straight fluoride. So it kind of has like a Prozac effect to people. Um, I was on Prozac. It's really funny, right? Taking straight fluoride. That was great for my third eye. Um, so I can tell you really about the effects of fluoride. And it kind of feels like this. I could be like having a day where I'm like, guess what? My grandma just died. <laughs> oh, my dog just got hit by a car. <laughs> You're kind of just like like enthusiastically fake happy like and that's really what's going in our water okay so in no way shape or flu flu form has fluoride ever been good for your teeth that's absolute lies that have been pitched to you so they could do this so if you believe that you really have some issues let's talk about what else is in the water though um they they have like i put a video on my page but it's actually inaccurate but i still wanted to share it because it is what the government will admit to <laughs> so it's a start right it is a start because the government's admitting to this everyone knows anonymous is um a CIA 
sect and that really is part of the government. So the government is admitting to having um, chemicals in our water that are not fluoride. And those are psych medications. I've seen the actual numbers. I wish I could pull them up now. I feel like I'm living in the Mandela effect every day of my life. But I've seen the actual numbers that we're talking about. And it's really funny because per city, um, there's a different cocktail of medications. I know for a fact Atlanta, Georgia is full of reproductive hormones that will make it so that you can't reproduce. They will just have really bad effects on you. It depends on what city you're in for the cocktail of psych medications and estrogen and all sorts of home medications you're on. There's an average of 59 different medications in every city's water. That's more concerning to me because your filters are not taking out these psych meds. So now let's talk about this, okay? I live on planet Earth like all of you guys, but I have something called free will, okay? It's the only thing that I have in this realm, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to tell everyone very publicly that you are impending on my free will when you are choosing to put these chemicals in my water, because I am aware of them, and I am not consenting to it anyway. So I feel that it's impending on my free will personally. I don't know about all of you guys. That kind of ties into chemtrails, because um, when there's that's the worst thing on a planetary level that's happening right now, would be them spraying the sky because it is impending on Gaia's free will. The earth has free will too. And when you make it so the earth can't respond to these types of things and you're violating free will, it becomes very touchy, very sensitive. Like, let me explain this a little better. Pretty much you can come to earth and do whatever you want. I could kill you. I could do whatever I wanted. I could act horrible. I could do whatever I wanted. But there are certain laws. There are karmic laws that I would have to pay for my actions despite what I do. But I can choose to do whatever I want. Now, I cannot impend on someone free will. That is like a very touchy subject. It's the worst thing. We do have that one right. So um, that's actually how extraterrestrials became more involved on our planet was because they started chemtrailing the planet. It kind of stepped it up a notch and it allowed extraterrestrials to be able to intervene in a different sort of way. So that's really good news. So anything that you're perceiving as negative, kind of something good will come out of it. It just might take a little while. But stay informed. Um, I really hate that when people say, no, you need it for your teeth. People are becoming aware of this. They're starting to take it out of toothpaste, okay? D doctors and dentists will tell you that no, it's poison, and if you swallow it, if you swallowed a little bit of your toothpaste, you would have to call poison control, but yet you're drinking this water every day. So um, I want to talk to you a little bit more like why. We're having a war on consciousness. I don't know if you guys are just tuning in, just noticing, maybe you don't notice. This is a war on consciousness. That's what the war on drugs is. It's really a war on consciousness. Um, so really our, the biggest weapons being used against us would be our food and water at this point. Um, it sounds really crazy, but I'm making major shifts in my life and they involve eating different kinds of foods. Um, I had to, just on this journey on my own, stop eating sugar. I don't drink coffee anymore. I don't drink booze. I don't drink, smoke cigarettes. Anything bad for my body, I'm not going to put in it anymore. And I'm becoming more and more informed about the foods. Um, I also had like a vegan a couple of vegan <laughs> debates on my page. Um, let me just say that I think it's more dangerous to be eating um, fruits and vegetables at this point than meat. So it's really touchy about what you can and can't eat. Um, I keep telling everyone, if you wanna learn more about food, go check out my friend Linda Dalton's video. She's really informed on food. And I'm trying to learn more about food because I know like wheat is the worst thing for us right now. I know that wheat, there's a war on wheat and that it's being sprayed with uh, Monsanto Roundup. And it's gonna kinda, uh, be mentioned in my news I'm about to do. I'm about to go into some headlines and then I'll answer questions really fast. This moon energy is really intense, um, but it's good for manifesting. So I spent my day working my ass off yesterday. Just I'll throw myself right in these moon energies. I used to run and hide from them. Now I throw myself right into them and I use them to my benefit by being more in the flow and um, manifesting abundance a little bit better. So that's what I would kind of recommend everyone trying to do because, I mean, I'm achy. I haven't slept. I feel like I haven't slept in two days. I feel like achy my whole body. Um, I just don't feel ideal. And I'm seeing a lot of people too. It's, it's on a planetary level. It's not like anyone's excluded. They're just not going to make you feel great. Um, so it's better just to kind of jump into them and learn how to use them. Um, my news is sort of all over the place. I did have a hectic day yesterday. Um, there's major concern um, about politics as usual, right? What else will divide people? You know, that's why I'm so popular, politics and religion, right? Um, there's major things going on with Trump, though, and um, things going on politically. And it is 2016. Trump is elected, and he's going to be the next president. As of where we stand right now, this is our future. This is 
This is our future probability. I'm not saying it can't change momentarily, but right now, this is where we're at. It's 2016 and Trump was just elected for president. And, it is, and the question is, is he going to make America great again? Because I see a lot of people, right, on either side, like, oh, maybe he will, maybe he won't. Let's talk about making America great again. Um, I think we can make America great, that we, not Trump, I think we can make America great again if we tar start to take accountability for our world and our actions, all of us. Um, I created this shitty world too. We all did. We all played a part in it. Like we all created what you're seeing and the kind of mess we're dealing with. And I feel like it's a lot like in my real life. Like I woke up and I felt like, how did I tangle myself up in this mess from living so unconsciously? Like my life is a disaster. It's a mess. Now I got to untangle this disaster, right? That's what I had to go through. And I feel like that's what we're going through um, uh, in America. This seems to be a hot topic. I hate even mentioning it. I'm going to mention abortions again. And I keep on saying this like I don't I could care less if you go get 10 abortions I could care less what anyone does honestly <laughs> because I don't judge anyone and I feel that on a deep level that if you had my life you would be me and if I had your life I would be you that there is no difference we come from one source so I don't judge people everyone has their own path and we're all gonna end up in the same place so I don't judge people I don't have a stand one way or another it's kind of like politics I could care less I just watch it around me but it's a big topic because we know from past experiences, from living in other civilizations, we know that when any form of innocent blood is being spilled, that we're going to have major problems, that the wrath of God is coming. Now, it's not just abortions. There's missing children, a lot of them, every day. So there's blood being spilled, mainly um, worldwide, but a lot of it in America. There's at least 3,500 um, abortions a day being done in America. And I know people say, oh, what if you were raped or had incest? Um, that's a very small percentage. It doesn't even make a percentage of that. So we just have major problems collectively and we need to change this because these numbers are crazy. If we want to, um, we want to really just turn a blind eye to things like Pizzagate and missing children and issues over what to do with aborted fetuses because they're clearly being consumed as food, which is going to lead into my next article. We really have problems. We can't just stand by and say it's not affecting me anymore because that's what happened in the Holocaust and guess what? It does affect everyone. So I know people want to sit by and be like, this isn't affecting my life. These issues are not affecting me in any way. They are. We only have one consciousness and this is really a war on consciousness and what we can do to kind of make it better. Um, yesterday we had 70 earthquakes. That's for Shyla. Yesterday we had 70 earthquakes. 215 earthquakes this week. Guess how many we had this month? 2012. That seems like a synchronistic number, right? 2012, maybe the poor hole opens and things change. Maybe the old world was destroyed. It's debatable why that number is important, but it seems kind of ironic that that is the number for the month. Um, this is another article for Shyla. And I did have to really dig into this one. Um, it, there really is something going on with McDonald's in the news. And I know that this has been a concern. They've been in the news three times in one year. Well, not so much news because it's not being covered, but they've um, had issues that were flagged by the federal Bureau of Investigation three times in one year. And um, employees that worked there claim they were using human meat as a filler in their food. Hold on. It's clicked out of it. They were using human meat and horse as a filler in their food. Um, and uh, I know that this was found when they did investigate and they're investigating again. In 90% of locations, they had human and horse and was six, in 60% of locations. Um, they did test it the first time and it was found to be children meat. That's really concerning. I know you can go ahead and say this is completely ridiculous because if you go online, that's what Snopes will tell you. But I honestly, I wouldn't even look, I wouldn't even click on that side or ever read anything Snopes had to say. I, I know what it is and I've heard of it. But that, that's really funny to me because it's funny that all of these stories are inaccurate, right? All these people are just lying, all the employees working there and whistleblowers because this is coming straight from a, um, a really high up whistleblower. Like all these people must be lying about Pizzagate and just everything, right? Like, I don't know, you can go ahead and believe that and you can try to stay in that old world and make it work, but it's coming crashing down around you. It doesn't matter what you do to try to stay there. So this stuff is going to come out like, and you know what? I had to really think about this and I'm going to go Google this for Wendy. I happen to know why they would feed people human meat. I happen to know exactly what it would do to your body and the repercussions from that. And it makes sense to me because this is like straight Illuminati stuff. 
Like this is really crazy to me. Um, and I know for real, it's real. <laughs> like that's so scary to me. You couldn't pay me to eat at McDonald's anyway. Um, I personally saw my friend eating there every day and saw his entire body shutting down and killing him. He's probably dead right now. I haven't talked to him for a year. But I'm just telling you, I can see the overall effects. And I will assure you that's true. It's really funny though that this must be fake news and everything's fake news, but this is actually from legit news sources. Um, we are going to have an asteroid 2016, um, December 13th, 2016. This asteroid was discovered on um, December 8th, so it was just discovered. Um, and it is WX-20. It's an Apollo-class near-Earth, near-Earth object with an estimated size of 13 to 29, uh, wait, sorry, 95 feet. <laughs> 95 feet. So it's kind of a big asteroid. It's expected to come near Earth. Um, I really suspect it might come close to hitting Earth or hit it. So I like how they say that. It's a pretty big asteroid. So we'll hear some news from that in the future. Um, we're having problems with bumblebees. This is really crazy. And that would be due to them spraying like Monsanto Roundup. Um, they're having, they have damaged vibes. And we're kind of learning about vibration and the importance of it. So we kind of know what that would mean. Bumblebee's ability to produce the buzzing or vibration that enables them to pollinate key commercial food crops may be harmed by the controversial pesticides, I can't even say it, nino nasticides, according to research. And that would be what they're spraying like Monsanto was. So it's not good. We're seeing really bad things happen with animals, giraffes, or just put on the endangered species list. I don't think people realize the importance of bees and what they do. Um, that's like that's like if we had damaged vibrations, which I I had most of my life, right? I had a damaged vibration. I couldn't do my job in any capacity as it was pretty much detrimental to my entire, entire mind, body, and soul complex. So it's just really bad. We kind of know the effects of that. Um, go ahead and type questions because I'm really almost done with the news. I don't have a lot of it. Um, we had a disturbing string of earthquakes, like I keep talking about, with a mis predicted by a preceded by a mysterious vibration. Um, they've been detected all across the planet. Um, we're noticing an increase in frequency and intensity of earthquakes. Um, it's continued, um, and the U.S. Geological Survey has warned an issue or warning. They've issued a warning. Um, they've issued a warning of galactic mass ejection to hit Earth. Hundreds of thousands died the last time an event like this happened. They're talking about a tsunami. And um, they are talking about it in California, actually, on that fault line. I keep on, like, every day covering, and I'm doing that for a reason. And we're really expecting to have something catastrophic happen. Um, my guess is it will be in the United States, because what better way to, you know, take control of the government than to have either a natural disaster or, like, a 9-11 kind of event. <laughs> Those would be really the main two ways. So I do expect you to see crazy natural disasters. Um, I do have something to say. Trump is <laughs> Trump is being accused of disarming America. That that he wants to cut back on budgets, which are basically going to people's payroll and um, bonuses. <laughs> they're not really going to what they're supposed to. They're basically um, they're basically shady spending like they're not going to what they're supposed to so people are now fighting back and they're saying oh he's gonna disarm america we need these weapons oh my god and they're really having controversies and um the iran defense minister has warned that donald trump could trigger a world war and the destruction of israel in small gulf gulf arab states if he provokes the middle eastern conflict and they're just basically saying that he is um disarming america before the next war um, and that's about it. Go ahead and type some questions and I'll get to them now. Um, you're seeing kind of like a slowdown in that news though. You would think it would pick up. Um, now things are going to chill out. We still have this moon energy here. Um, I live in Pennsylvania, so the moon is still very close to us. Um, and you'll kind of feel the effects for a couple days still. Like really we're in that tail end of a storm and we're going to have kind of a break for the weekend and then rest up and you'll go into another storm. You should be kind of getting used to this roller coaster, but you're going to still feel this energy. Um, I know a lot of people love this moon energy. Like, oh, it's great. It's purifying me, whatever. I'm just not a fan. Maybe I like the sun better. Um, but it's really ideal for manifesting. Um, I wanted to tell you guys a little like. I'm not into magic per se because um, someone wrote on my video that I was like a witch in some Bible verses. Um, I have been a witch in a past life.
but I'm not this life. And I learned some very hard lessons that life about magic. So now I'm into like more like the magic of how the universe works and using like the universal laws to my benefit. I'm not into magic per se. I won't put spells on people or do any of that stuff. But I wanted to tell you a little about some magic that you could use in your everyday lives. And there's magic all around us. It's not like a crazy concept. You have magic every day around you. So you kind of want to learn how to use it. Um, I, I keep white flowers in my house at all times. <laughs> Okay, like I always have fresh flowers in my living room at all times. And this is something that will help you um, bring abundance and money into your life. It's kind of like a magical trick. But white flowers are also used to purify um, any kind of space. So like when I was a kid and I was having like, um, I think I was like 15, I was having negative entity attachment problems. And I had um, my mom's friend, some voodoo lady, brought over a bunch of white flowers and put them in my room to kind of purify my space. So they're very purifying. I would suggest everyone kind of trying to put some white flowers of some type in their house because it's really going to bring a different kind of energy about. Um, we also sell white light lotion uh, oil on our site. Sorry, oil on our site. The link's up there. And you can use this to purify your house. Um, you can use it to purify your energy. You can use it to get rid of karma um, and just really all different things. You could add it to your oil diffuser or in your bathtub. It's really amazing stuff and um, it's so purifying. So check it out. But you can really kind of use these things. Like I use sage to purify. That might be seen as magic, right? Purifying my energy. I use salt for magic. I eat Himalayan salt. I'm just trying to do these little kind of fixes in my life um, to work at keeping my energy pure and my vibration better. Wow, that's very gross. I hope the fluoride. Hi, Robin. I'm beginning to op open up and spiritually grow. I think I'm going to do cards and answer these questions because I'm a little tired. One thing that affects you is guilt, especially since I was very young. Um, you have a blocked second chakra, an orange chakra. Um, for anyone that's dealing with these blocks, I forgot I did want to touch base on this. Like that's the best service that we offer is that we can un remove any blocks and make sure all your chakras are opening and flowing good. And if you feel like I'm trying to draw light workers, healers, people well on the path to me. Um, I don't really care about waking people up. I could care less. I, I don't care if people wake up. <laughs> Sorry, I know. I'm not like Shiloh is going to wake everyone up. I'm helping and that great. If that's her mission, it's mine too and I'm going to help. But honestly, on a deeper level, um, all I can really control is myself and I can lead by example. So I don't really care about waking everyone up. But if you feel that you're like evolved past that, like, oh, all my chakras are open. They're flowing great. Um, I'll be one to tell you that every day I'm taking on blocks from people and I had to reopen them and make sure mine are great. So, but if you feel that you've evolved past that, maybe you're working on the higher chakra system. I'm on, um, I'm working on chakra number 10. <laughs> so I've evolved past that seven chakra system too, but I'm still up here. Okay. So if you feel that you've evolved past that, we can help with that too. And, um, it's really amazing because our goal is to have more source energy flowing through our body. It's extremely healing. Um, my body is changing from the inside out out every day like turning from carbon to crystal um you guys are kind of watching like my hair grows a little more every day i'm just becoming healthier every day and it's really amazing um so if you have like you have a second block chakra at least um i would have to have like a private conversation with you to determine if you add any more that is something me and my twin flame do together and I would really check out that service because it's amazing service. We're energetic beings and we spend our money on crap. <laughs> Basically a bunch of junk all the time because we're being, um, we're being kind of farmed for energy and as consumers. So really, um, start to try to put the focus back on yourself. Like, I'm not saying in a narcissistic kind of way or service to self kind of way. I'm saying really start to love yourself and take care of yourself. And if you're not taking care of yourself energetically, that's going to have a horrible thing. Uh, horrible. You're going to get horrible problems from having a block chakra. You're going to get health problems. Um, I had a block second chakra and it led to stage three ovarian cancer when I was 15. So I'm just going to tell you that these kind of blocks, if you let them go, they can become really bad health wise. Um, I'm going to draw you a card too. I want to draw cards. So I'm waiting. I got like three packs of um, chakra, just chakra cards. So I can kind of like do chakra games with you guys. And I don't know if it's because of Christmas. The mail's slow. I haven't got them yet. Maybe I'll get them later today. If I do, I'll do like a card post for you guys. So Natalie, authority. Well, when you have um, any of the first three chakras blocked, they can be kind of bad. Like, um, just be aware that you're an indigo. Um, 
possibly an incarnated angel or an indigo. You're some type that isn't really, you realize we're equal and that we don't need authority. You're kind of like me where I don't need anyone to lead me. I don't, I don't need a president. I'm never going to vote. <laughs> um, it's, you don't understand. I don't need a leader. I can lead myself with my own intuition. So just be aware of that because a lot of us are living in between worlds right now. I feel like I'm living in between worlds. Um, I'm just ready for my boyfriend to take me to live in space or something. I'm kind of over it. <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of like going back and forth between dimensions. It can be a little discerning. So when you're in the third dimension, um, authority does play a huge part. It's all around you. You're, um, you're in a prison with invisible bars. And it's sort of like the church and politics are keeping us trapped and in place with, along with these chemicals and kind of a collective mix. Really, um, just be aware of that. You're here to tear down these systems. Systems. And you have to start by tearing down any third dimensional systems that you have running in your body. Um, guilt, fear, anxiety, any of those lower vibrations you have to get rid of. Those lower emotions you have to get rid of. It's going to affect your vibration in a bad kind of way. Let's see. Masa, good morning. Material harvest. <laughs> well, um, I went and I, I, I love this moon energy. I went and I got seven $1 scratch offs yesterday, okay? <laughs> So, hold on. So, I got seven $1 scratch offs yesterday. Um, I scratched them off and I won four out of the tickets. I only won like four dollars and two free tickets, but it's a start, right? Um, really use this moon energy to kind of like manifest what you want. And if that's abundance, great. That's what we all want. Um, I'm kind of looking at it differently. Like when I'm in this flow, it is abundance. Love is abundance. Love is my currency now. I could care less about money. I can't wait till we really do have this economic collapse. I could care less. Love is a currency. The flow is a currency because I know that when I'm in the flow, the universe will take care of me <laughs> so that does kind of translate in a monetary kind of way so just be really um cautious of what you're manifesting because this moon energy is intense so our thoughts are kind of like really creating our our reality like more than usual hi linda all meat yes meat is the next plague <laughs> meat is the next plague um so it's really like, what do you do? <laughs> like, what do you do? What do you eat? So that's why I'm really weird about what I'm eating. Um, I see that they're literally, that Fukushima just made it to the US and it's in salmon. Well, that's not the ocean, that's fresh water. So it's clearly made it onto our mainstream land. It's gonna come over even more, they said. It just started to. So let's see, we have a plague in fish. I can't eat sushi, that's for sure. Um, we have a plague in pork. We have a plague in chicken. What What else is there? Oh, beef fat too. That might be human. <laughs> like, really, what do you eat? Like, meat is is really not good for you at this point. Like, you really had to realize that. I have a card for you, Linda. Patience and planning. Since we're mirrors, um, just have patience and maybe, maybe try to plan things out better. I'm trying to work on that too. Um, I just did a little news thing and I, I had to take notes because I kind of like start doing this video and I'm channeling information and it's coming really fast and I kind of, it can be really hard to kind of forget what I'm supposed to talk about or whatever. Like when I'm here and I'm kind of like thinking about what I want to talk about, I get a lot more ideas. I kind of lose them when I go on camera. Maybe start to plan out your things better. I like it that you want to play with cards because they're fun and they're easy so if, if I'm like kind of like feeling blah because of the moon I don't feel ideal I can't wait for the weekend it's just like you know so I, I can use these cards as a tool and kind of like do something different switch it up I'm kind of like I do runes too maybe I'll do runes one time I try to do like little different things I can kind of make it entertaining with um so just really maybe try to plan out like things with that like I really love your videos and you have a good audience maybe plan on um like I don't know if you put your videos on YouTube. I'm trying to download mine and put them on YouTube. <laughs> I get like a, <laughs> probably more down thumbs than the plus thumbs on there, but I'm still trying to work on that. And eventually I'll get it going. Maybe start downloading your videos and put them on YouTube so you can get a different forum or uh, just different things like that. Like I'm trying to learn like different, you know, aspects of this and just try to use like my internet skills and the different skills I have to kind of like get, reach more people. But, um, Linda, you have an amazing vibration and you're magnetic like me, like magnetic, like you're going to draw people to you, um, because you're, you're doing divine work. So you're going to draw the right people to you and it's really beautiful and amazing. So just maybe like playing out your stuff better. That's a weird card. Zaina, 
Uh, my personal experience on CERN. Um, <laughs> okay. CERN, I believe that that's what they kind of refer to as the god god particle or whatever. It's a machine and they are using it for whatever purpose. You have to understand, um, this is the way I heard it, that actually what's happening is as they mess around with CERN, um, the matrix is basically a computer system, a sophisticated computer system. So when they mess around with CERN, that wasn't really like thought of, like these codes weren't written for that, okay? So when they mess around with this stuff, then like whoever runs the matrix, okay, has to freeze the entire system we're in. So we all get frozen and then um, fit, rewrite the codes so that as they experiment more and more, it will allow for that because it's not even ready for that. So when they do that, when they freeze this matrix and unfreeze it, we're seeing this. Why we're seeing the mandala effect and all these glitches is actually most of it's from CERN. So it's not good what they're doing. Um, it, it wasn't meant to be uh, a technology that was in play yet. It wasn't, this game wasn't made for that. <laughs> so um, they're kind of like playing with things they don't know a lot about. And every time they do that, they're opening wormholes, portholes, they're doing all sorts of crazy things because they don't know what they're doing. Um, and it's kind of like with this universe that if you don't know what you're doing, maybe you shouldn't be playing and testing things out because that's what I did with most of my life. And I got nailed harder than anyone else. I assure you, I did learn a lot about like the laws of karma, gravity, whatever, but the hard way. So that's kind of what they're doing with CERN. It's not advisable. Um, also, it has some kind of like really bad... Uh, it just has some kind of bad origins. You have to remember a lot of what you're seeing is an illusion. Um, but if you want to kind of look at it realistically, um, there is a handful of elite that's running the entire world. <laughs> So this all kind of ties together in a kind of weird way. I wouldn't be real concerned about it though um, because CERN isn't affecting you on a personal level. I know you might think it is, but it really isn't. I would just be more concerned about um, basically the food and the water that you are <laughs> drinking and eating and the things that you can change in your life. Because if I'm like, oh, I've been out of shape over CERN, what good is that going to do? I'm basically just sending them energy that I need to help here. So um, I'm very careful about what I give my energy to because there's so much going on. Yeah, I could go, Oh, Illuminati, reptiles, oh my god, greys, whatever you guys want to do. But it's not going to really do anything but be like an energy siphon, an energy drain. Um, like people who argue over is the earth flat or round, they're both wrong first off and it's stupid because who cares? Who really cares what shape of earth we're on, honestly? How does that really affect us? All you need to know is that the earth is alive and a spiritual being. Like, so just really, um, I know it's good to like stay informed. I know they did, um, I saw like, I want to say years ago, they had a show on the store on the history channel. Maybe you could like look it up on Google if you wanted to know more. Um, so it's not something I really get into. My twin flames like kind of obsessed with it and I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever, CERN. <laughs> like they do have, I'll find out for you. They have a really good channel on, on YouTube that monitors it every day. <laughs> like, you know, oh, maybe the CERN machine will blow up. And last I had seen it was when the weasel got stuck in it and shut it down. Like an actual weasel climbed in the machine, chewed the wires out and destroyed the machine. Um, I don't know if it's even back up and running. I'm assuming it is, but it was like an act of the divine. Like it was like divine intervention like a weasel shut down the whole experiment for a while i don't know if it's back up and running i'm assuming it is but you're gonna see that there's divine intervention in these places as needed you had damaged vibrations kimberly for two-thirds of your life absolutely me too um that's exactly why you're trying to get your body in harmony and your relationships in harmony will follow um, it's the most important thing is that we learn to harmonize our body and our energy um, because I see so many people that are like so broken and looking for love and then they get karmic relationship and they don't know why. You really have to love yourself and that's what you're working on. Now your vibration is lifting, you're on the right path, you're watching ascension videos and your whole world's changing and you're living in harmony and it's beautiful. And um, if you're not in a spiritual relationship, you will be. That's my goal for everyone. Um, is to find love. Like we're here for love on a deeper level. And any relationship that you've had is to prepare you for that ultimate love, which is with yourself. Sounds silly, it's with yourself, but as another person. Um, I believe that every soul is made in two components, a divine masculine and a divine feminine. And that when you come back together, you become like a Godhead because the two of you merge with the divine, with God. So you become kind of like um, much more powerful together. 
like as a unit. Like um, I, I was clairvoyant my whole life and I had a lot of gifts, but until I met my twin flame, I wasn't able to balance them out and use them good. Um, it really just is something different energetically. It's hard to describe, but the goal is love. Um, I was dying of cancer when I was 15 and figured that one out. It's love. We're here for love. When you die, that's all that, that remains is that love. Like things like anger or whatever, they're, they're earth's notions they don't go with you there's no jealousy in the other realm <laughs> so these notions stay here all that remains is love and um we have to love ourselves that's what we're learning is self-love it sounds crazy because we're so hard on ourselves we're so forgiving and loving to others but we're hard on ourselves like i wish i could have done this i didn't do this right oh i don't look good whatever it is we're so hard on ourselves and everyone was created perfect <laughs> everyone so we might all look different or whatever. Um, I think we really just had to kind of like, you know, work on more self-love because that's how you'll find that ultimate love. Ravenwood. Wow. Good morning. This is me. You, you're a mirror of me and you guys all are. So what you're seeing of me is just a perspective. I have a lot of people who love my videos. I have a lot of people who hate them. I guess it depends on how you feel about yourself. But this is what I'm going to do later too. Rest and rejuvenate. Um, I've been working so hard. Like, I mean, I worked so hard yesterday all day. Um, and I plan on working some more today, but I'm going to rest later and I can't wait. Rest and rejuvenate. Go meditate. Um, so we just went through a moon in Gemini. So you guys might have felt like more social or drawn to your friends or you know just kind of like emotional whatever you felt so all of a sudden this moon's gone away and we're shifting into something different which is cancer and that's about family and friends and staying home <laughs> you know it's a totally different uh, avenue so really just work on resting chill at home spend time with your family this weekend you know relax just get some rest meditate Massa, Obama took away our First Amendment with an executive of voters silencing the independent media. Yes, I think it's very funny that people believe, that, the people that believe that we have constitutional rights because who is here to enforce those rights? What happens when your rights are violated? Um, I, I've been through similar experiences. Um, I've had my right, rights seriously violated many times, past lives and present. So I can tell you, I find that laughable. I say it's like a joke, like, oh really, we have a constitution. What's happening in uh, Dakota? Those aren't violating human rights. What's happening with our water? Because they consider that an act of terrorism. And who's the terrorist? Because the only terrorists I see are our government. I'm just going to say it. The only terrorist in the whole world, when I see this news and everything, it all leads back to our government. So I think it's laughable. I'm glad that your eyes are open. And look. You're succeeding. You're going to do everything great. Anything you try to do right now, any decision you make is going to go amazing. So get out there. Use this moon energy to change some things that you don't like in your life or that you want to do because you have the universe backing you up and it's going to go so easily. Linda, I did a card for you, but CERN is a paradox. We'll be fine. I know. I know. We'll be fine. Or Merkaba is coming back online. Um, I feel that deeply. I, I get more excited every day. I feel happy. Um, I feel well adjusted and I'm okay with this. I'm okay with whatever's going to happen. Like, I don't care what happens. I don't have any preconceived neo notions. I can maybe access information a little bit different, but I don't really care. Me and my twin flame just kind of watch things unfold and um, maybe we laugh about it or whatever. We're not crying about it. We're not upset about it. We're just like watching it. Like, it's kind of like a movie. Like, just watch. Don't get like wrapped up in it because everything is going to be fine and everyone is right where they should be. Tony, my feeds aren't working, but you're watching. Recognition and reward. Um, you're doing really good. You just handled a bad moon, a bad moon for you. Um, I know, I know it doesn't feel like it was the moon. It feels like it was more like personal things, but I assure you the moon was kind of aspirating them and making them like intensify. So just relax. Um, you're getting recognition and reward for all the hard work you're doing. Um, you're doing so much spiritual work. You're doing really amazing. Um, I, I feel really grateful to be around all of you guys and to be watching all of you guys lift your vibrations. Um, I say that those that are like putting in this spiritual work and trying to learn more and watching people's videos and whatever, I can see every day you energetically changing. Every day you become a higher vibe. I can see your eyes becoming more full of light. You got like that zen out smile, whereas, um, a lot of people, when they came to me or when I met them or whatever, they seemed a little broken, kind of having problems, whatever. You have come so far <laughs> energetically, like so far. Um, your energy is only healing. Um, I did have an important message to you guys too. I just forgot. 
from the dream world. Um, we just entered a different phase last night, as in um, we all are entering like a two month period where we're gonna heal. We need to focus on healing for the next two months, as in healing our mind, bodies, and souls, healing everything, every aspect of ourselves. We need to really focus on healing for the next two months. Like, that's really a priority. I'm not sure why, but just really focus on healing your body. Um, you have to understand when we attempt to heal ourselves, it really takes like a three-month period to heal your whole body and to regenerate it, okay? It really does. So I guess we're attempting to do this maybe a little faster. Just really work on healing yourself, being nicer to your body, check out in Dalton's videos learn what to put in your body because we're energetic beings and it's so important that we really learn about what we should be eating because like I mean if I was listening to our government I would be having um wheat bread because it's healthy for you when it's actually really poison to you and it's like a drug so if I was listening to like you know what was conceived what we should be eating I wouldn't really be getting anywhere so just really try to pay attention to the food you're putting in your body because um the food you're eating can either heal or destroy your body it's so important right now that we work on healing and um, eating better foods. Charlie Simmons, Foundation and Achievements. I like this card. <coughs> Sorry, my throat. <coughs> I like this card. Um, work on your throat chakra too. Work on your throat chakra. That's a fifth dimensional gateway, a porthole. So really work on speaking the truth. Um, my Twin Flame breaks it down like this where he says, as above, so below, and above is truth, and we're below. <laughs> So um, really work on truth because you're not going to get to those higher dimensions without speaking the truth all the time. And um, that, that means that your throat chakra can get blocked by not speaking up. Like maybe you feel like, like your family will think you're crazy if you tell them the real, like how you're really feeling or whatever. Like by not speaking up, it can block our throat chakra. So speak your truth more. Who cares if you're going to offend someone? I do it on a daily basis. It's not a big deal. Um, I am light. <laughs> I am light. Hopefully if some darkness comes at me, I can transmute it. That's what I try to do. It's not a big deal. So try to speak up your truth more. Um, I assure you my family probably thinks I'm completely crazy, but I think they're crazy. <laughs> so it's not a big deal. Speak your truth more. And uh, you've already been working on those lower chakras. You've already, you've come really far with your root chakra. And now you have a foundation. You have to understand that. And I had a blocked root chakra and it really had like bad effects on my whole life so you've come so far you got the lower chakras really good just work on your upper ones you're going to work on your throat and your third eye linda i'm not a fan of moon energy you didn't sleep i didn't sleep either and since i do most of my work in the dream world i don't really like that so um i feel like uh i don't know i just feel like weird shadow we all that's all of us we all have light and dark in us and um you know we all have that ego and spiritual side and it's all about embracing spirit and um getting rid of the ego that moon was really amazing for um getting rid of the ego linda said um I, it resonates with me everything she says so it was good for getting rid of the ego hopefully today you kind of wake up and feel a lot better or maybe by tomorrow so these moon energies are still going to be intense you'll feel amazing this weekend though really work on um bringing that light out so I saw, this reminds me of, um, this is exactly why I hate the light workers of the world group at this point. Sorry, dislike. Um, I saw a post, right, where some light worker, some light worker said, I am so sick of hearing people, you know, talk about darkness and can they get some help or they're feeling bad or whatever. I'm going to be the one to tell you, do you know what a light worker's job is? Okay, a light worker is someone who is, has conquered their own darkness and become light. They've transmuted their own negative energy into light, okay? Now, guess what I'm supposed to be using my light for? I'm supposed to be using my light to reach into that darkness and pull someone out. <laughs> so if I'm just, like, I could stay in higher dimensions. I really could do that. I could quit doing these videos. I could stay in higher dimensions with my twin flame all of the time, right? And I could just completely live in light and, you know, whatever. And I wouldn't really be having any interaction like this. But how is that being a light worker? How is that going to help? <laughs> so I'm just going to say that we all need to be using our light and knowing that it's so powerful that if I reach out to someone that's having a hard time in the third dimension, I can pull them right out of it. I can help them ascend out of it. And that's powerful. So 
um, just really be aware that I can either, I could have woke up in a shitty mood and kind of like, if I ever put out like, um, any kind of negativity, I get boomeranged a million times harder than any of you guys. I assure you, it'll come right back and slap me instantaneous. I get instant karma now. Okay. So if I was going to be like in a crappy mood and like, you know, respond back to something negative, it would just slap me hard, like boomerang me. So if I go out there and I'm, you know, projecting light and love all the time, that's when I'm going to get back. It's kind of like the universe universe is a big mirror so just really work on being light um all the time and if you feel that you can't be take a break and go meditate spend some time to recharge yourself i tell everyone that it won't do anyone any good if you're doing light work tired drained not charged that's why it's so important that you guys are taking um like a break taking a break for your own life and yourself like you guys are really all service to others and trying to help and you're doing a good job but do make sure that you're recharging your own energy because um we kind of need to be healing ourselves right now but when we're out there healing and helping others service of others is an illusion it's helping ourselves in a deep kind of way that you guys can't even really understand so you really have to be service of others that's how we're going to get sorted if your service is self or service to others that's what it all comes down to so in whatever way we want to be we can be service of others um you really have free will to use your gifts however you want don't focus on what's going on um yeah the thing is i'm not focusing on what's going on but i'm feeling like i'm trying to reach people at all different levels of consciousness so I have some people on my page that are really into like Trump and maybe Hillary, whatever. These kind of 3D notions that are fake to me, um, they're really stuck there. So I kind of am trying to use like the news to kind of like draw maybe people to us that wouldn't really necessarily be interested in consciousness. But when they start listening to the news, maybe they'll start listening to some consciousness and expand their minds. Um, so I'm just kind of like trying new things. I haven't perfected what I'm going to do yet. I'm really new at this. I'm just waking up. And instead of like coming to you guys in a year or two, if we had that long, in a year or two and saying, here I am, I'm a finished product or I'm almost finished. I'm coming to you guys while I'm still in the ascension process like all of you guys. So you guys can kind of like watch my journey and learn with me. And it's really amazing. I'm kind of perfecting like what I'm going to do. I haven't got this down yet. Um, we are teaching Reiki classes on our site now, but eventually um, we're going to be teaching a different kind of energy healing and kind of evolve. I'm, I'm already involved. I've evolved past that where I'm not necessarily using Reiki anymore, but I'm teaching it and I find it very useful for people that want to start out um, learning healing. So I am going to be teaching different things, but I haven't like perfected exactly how I'm going to do this and I'm just kind of going with the flow. It's like, um, like a year ago, I could see I was going to be here, but how do you get there? So I can see where I'll be in another year with it but I'm just really working on getting there and you have to do all the hard work it's kind of like if you come to me for a reading I can kind of shine a light on your future probabilities or your path but you have to put in the work and you have to do it so I'm just kind of learning with you guys all um, and hopefully I'm reaching a lot of people that's um that's one thing about being with my twin flame is that every cell in my body is kind of like embodying divine love so I feel that it's like magnetic to people um, when I go out, like in public, people are drawn to me like total strangers. <laughs> they'll stare at me, they'll talk to me, tell me their whole life story. I can just tell on a cellular level that my body is changing. And in some way, it's magneting the right people to me. Um, kind of like a lot of people doing this work. It's really amazing to kind of watch, but I'm just kind of learning. I'm a fast learner though. And I just kind of got thrown into this. I will tell you my twin flame um, is of no help to me in the knowledge department. He, uh, He's in like a secret society and won't tell me anything about it. <laughs> and he, he wouldn't really help me with this kind of stuff. He kind of did um, wake me up. But I ha I'm having to learn all this stuff on my own and I'm trying to tap into my memories and do this on my own. Like you really have to do the work too. It's not like, it's like when I woke up, okay, well teach me, tell me what to do. It doesn't really work like that. So I'm just trying to reach a lot of people. And I feel like um, that certain people like, like Shiloh, you really do have the ability to wake anyone up just having a conversation with them. I feel that when you're awake, you have the ability to wake up others on a deep kind of level. Good morning, Amanda. Disruption. What is disrupting your life? What is making it not go so smooth? What could you get rid of that isn't serving you? Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's a thing. Maybe it's toxins. Whatever it is, just work on what's disrupting your flow. 
because when you're in the flow it's amazing it feels amazing like like you just know that you're in this flow of abundance that's so much bigger than you and it's just amazing so really work on what is disconnecting you from source what is standing in your way um, a lot of people are cut off from source from churches it can have horrible effects to your body. Um, my friend, I don't think we, we agree to disagree, right? We agree to disagree. I, f I find that spiritual institutions are like a stepping stone that, you know, I spent most of my childhood in them and they were amazing to really get me on this journey. And then I evolved past it <laughs> and I kept going, right? A lot of people just get stuck there and they don't move past that. You know what I mean? So really just work on what is cutting you off from source. What could you do to be more connected? Um, possibly you could benefit from having your chakras opened and unblocked a lot of times that's a blocked crown chakra that cuts us off from source and it can make it's making my head itch because I know that's your problem and whenever I'm around someone with a blocked crown it makes my head itch I start itching right here uh, my head I'll tell you a little bit about my experience is opening my third eye and my crown chakra um I opened my third eye first. I had a lot of headaches. So I see a lot. It's top popular. Oh, I have migraines right here. That's a good sign that a lot of the time, unless it's negative entity attack, which is something different. But um, a lot of times that's your third eye expanding. When my crown chakra opened, like my head, it happened after my first Reiki attunement, level attunement two. My head literally, it was like I got shot in the head, but with light, like my whole head exploded. And I kind of had like a profound experience with it. Um, so like, and then I had someone say too about Reiki that, oh, I don't think it can be done remotely. I assure you, um, energy healing can be done remotely. You can be attuned right but to Reiki remotely. And it's really amazing. It was really instrumental in opening all of my chakras. So, and now I've mastered keeping them open and helping other people with them, but just really work on opening your crown chakra and what you can do to do that. Charlie, love spells. No love spells. Those. Why would you put a love spell on someone? You want someone to love you that doesn't love you? That doesn't even make sense. Why would you need to put a love spell on you? Well, they're not for you. <laughs> they were never for you. What? Believe it or not, you're only for one person in this universe. It's never going to quite work out the same with anyone else. I know I've been um, in a very spiritual soulmate relationship before my twin flame. I had to, to learn and grow. And I'll tell you, um, as amazing as that was, it just wasn't the same. You're only made for one person. That's why it never works out with anyone else. And um, every person's kind of like a mirror so you can work on yourself and grow. Um, so you don't want to put a love spell on anyone. I've heard that before. I've heard someone ask me for a spell to get rid of their girlfriend too. And um, I just said, you just need to leave her. That's crazy. <laughs> spells are tricky. Um, as a, a practitioner of magic in my past lives, spells are tricky. And it's probably something you don't want to play with. Even in a white capacity, um, I would just be careful with it. And I have a card for you. And I got kicked off. Patience. We're learning patience. Guess how we're doing that? At our real jobs. And they suck. <laughs> but I heard that you're real, when you go to a real job, your real job, that you're learning patience because you have to be away from your loved ones and your family and doing what you want to do. Like, that's why we have to work. That's why we really have to eat is to learn patience and go to work. Um, it kind of keeps us, you know, at a different place. If we didn't have a need for food, we wouldn't have such a need for fun money, right? So it kind of like just makes it the way it is so just have patience um have patience because you're getting there it can feel like i'm putting in all this work why have i not ascended why haven't i left earth yet i'm over right here i'm doing all this work is it even paying off but you know on a deep level it is you're seeing synchronicities you're seeing signs from the universe loud and clear you're getting messages through what i'm saying to you every one of you guys hopefully should be so you're seeing um your own uh your own knowing reinforced so just go with the flow trust your intuition Let's see where I am. Allison Gain. Hello, if you're still here. Deception and envy. Well, you're waking up to the illusion that this matrix is a lot of deception. Um, it's, it's just crazy, right? You're waking up to the illusion. Like, how did I ever... How did I ever not see this stuff? <laughs> How am I just seeing this now? How am I just not figuring this out now? And you're waking up to everything you ever knew was um, a lie and an illusion. And you're really working on um, your lower chakras, your first two. And you're really going to work on that second chakra. Um, because that's where um, that kind of like envy, oh, I don't, I don't know, just like, those kind of like lower vibration things, you really just need to work on keeping all your chakras open and balanced and becoming aware of them. Um, yeah, 
This, this was all for our benefit though. Yeah, we grew up in kind of a weird place, right? <laughs> but this is all for our benefit in the end. You had to understand that um, any kind of negative polarity, positive polarity, they're describing the same thing. Everything is serving the divine. So we might see a lot of negativity around us or like negative things. There's no negativity. The divine is in control of all of this and it's really orchestrated. So just have patience um, that God is in control of your life and knows best. Just hand it over to the divine. Let me see where I am. I'm going to do like three more from the end. I'm going to the end, I think. But I got to do Rundini. Rundini. Discontentment and boredom. You're the you you've been fighting <clears throat> for like, your job situation and your life situation. You've been kind of like fighting the universe. Like just give in, go with the flow. Um, uh, you're trying to hang on to a job that isn't serving you or um, things that aren't serving you. Like you're kind of like fighting it and just let go, just let go because you're making a room for something new to come into your life. And when we hold on to that old stuff, unfortunately we had to get rid of the old before the new can have room to come in. So a lot of times, like I did that too, where I was like clinging to a job that wasn't serving me. Um, but yeah, I, by doing that, I couldn't allow the new stuff to come into my life. So just kind of like let go, um, release it. It's not serving you. The divine knows what's best for you. Zena, you had a love spell placed on you and it was horrible. Well, that person had major repercussions, so don't feel bad. Um, <laughs> prosperity begins. Um, you're doing amazing. You're spreading knowledge. You're spreading light. You're spreading love. And that's so beautiful and so amazing. And it's going to pay off. I know it feels like, oh my God, we're doing all this work. Is it even showing in the collective? Is it? Yes, it really is. Yes. We're all making big shifts. Um, huge shifts in our lives, shifts in timelines, jumping timelines. We're doing amazing work. Keep it up because you're really going to see results. Uh, Christina Rockefeller. Moving on. What are you moving on from your old life, hopefully? I hope it's your old life because I feel like when I woke up, I, I stepped right out of that life. <laughs> Right out of that life, um, it actually involved getting rid of all my possessions too. It was like a kind of a big change. Um, so just really move on from who you thought you were because you're changing to embrace your divine self. Like we spend a lot of our lives um, going, oh, I can see the moon out there. I can see the moon like right above my window. It's like, so yeah. Um, anyways, that's why I can't sleep because my window is right here and then the moon is so close. Like I remember maybe like three full moons ago where it was like right here so big and we couldn't sleep. But that probably explains things. Um, just really work on moving on from who you thought you were. Like I spent a lot of my life, like all of you guys, trying on different roles and identities and jobs and kind of seeing what served me and what didn't. So really just move on from anything not serving you. Brooke Kaler, intuition. That's why I had to pick you. <laughs> um, I, I'm drawn to certain people, you can notice. Um, you're really working on your third eye and your own intuition and it's becoming so amazing. Um, you're really just um, every day blooming. Like we're all turning from caterpillars into butterflies and I don't really think, maybe some people feel like they're already the butterfly, but I need some more time. <laughs> like even a year, I definitely need a year just to heal. Like from what my body's been through and everything, I need a year. So if we don't have that amount of time, I'm sure I'll make it. But um, we need more time, I feel like. Like, you know, it's just not gonna happen overnight. And just be patient with it because every day your awareness is becoming better, your intuition's becoming better, and you're becoming more and more connected to that new grid and new paradigm. And it's amazing and beautiful to watch. So just stay focused, stay on track. You're well on the path, you're doing good. Good. work on your third eye and that's a good shocker to be on a lot of people are still on those lower ones so it's amazing to see people on the higher ones Jody universe my little star seed you should be contacting your space family <laughs> um, this kind of tells me like the universe is a big place and your ties obviously are not from earth and maybe you should be kind of focusing on that and working on uh, communicating with your spaceship and your family um, I think that's a beautiful card. I think it's amazing because the universe is a really big place. Um, hold on. Yesterday my boss gave this to me because I'm into space stuff. And I guess, this is what he told me, that you can kind of like, I don't know what the date is. Hold on. You can kind of turn it like at any time. So today's the 14th of December. So I can like somehow turn this wheel. 
I'll have to figure it out. I'll turn the wheel and say it's like, I don't even know, but it'll tell you exactly what stars are in the sky so you can find them and check them out or whatever. But anyway, so I just took out the map, right? <laughs> I throw this part away. <laughs> and so I start looking at the map like, okay, well, let's see what I know. Let's take a little tour through the universe, shall we? So there's Orion. That's where a lot of reptiles are from. Here's Orion right here, right? And we're on Earth. I said, where are we? He said, Earth. I said, oh, we're looking up. So there's like Orion. Let's see what else I know. Hold on, it'll take me a minute, but I know some of them. Uh, sorry, I'm a little out of touch with this thing. <laughs> oh, Draco. We know, we're, we know who's from the Draco, right? And then we have, uh, but I didn't know. There's Sirius. There's where my dog's from, and that's where you're from. There's home, and then there's a few others. I was just kind of checking it out because I do know um, a lot of these star systems and I thought it was really cool. But um, you're from somewhere really far away, obviously. I'm trying to see where in relation that's near. Oh, that's by the reptiles. <laughs> no, um, but you're kind of like far from home. That's how I feel too. Like I feel like, um, I feel like on a deep level that I'm here to gain knowledge and to teach and learn and that one day I'll probably go back to space <laughs> with my knowledge and I'll continue to teach there. That's how you should really feel like it's really a big universe and um, the fact that we feel that we're from Earth and we're limited to here, that's an illusion. Um, we're just kind of tapping into the truth. Hi Sherry. Financial and material changes. This could be like a good or a bad thing. Um, it's obviously a good thing for you. You're going through major shifts. You're taking good care of your body. You're well on the path. You're already vegan. You're doing amazing things. Um, and it's going to pay off in a financial kind of way just because you're drawing different things to you. You have different energy now. So before you were kind of drawing low vibrational things to you. Now you're going to be drawing high vibe things to you. And that's how I've really mastered my world is that I can, I can at least control what I'm attracting to me I could either just be in a shitty mood and you know lower my vibration like I did most of my life and draw low vibration horrible things to me or I can stay high vibe and I can just have great things happen to me all the time so you're really working on mastering that and it's amazing good morning Angela balance Work on balancing your body. Um, we're mind, body, soul complexes so we kind of have to balance all three of those aspects and that's Angela Pimpella because uh, I remember you from a past life in Florida with Casey. Um, but work on balancing your body, um, your mind, and your soul, all three. And start with your body um, because that's how you're going to access the spiritual by having your body in good shape. So just really work on the food you're eating and stuff. Um, I would add Linda Dalton and check out our videos too so you can kind of learn how to do that better. You don't care if people are awake, Kimberly. Yeah, I know. That's because you're too busy creating your own destiny and your own fate. I don't, I don't have time for that. I'm trying to manifest the life that I want. I'm trying to take power and control over my life, so I don't really have time for all that illusion. I'm not going to feed into it. I'm going to work on changing what I can. Um, I love this card because we live in a manifest reality. You're destined, you're destined to do certain things as in contracted to do certain things with certain people. But at this point, most of you guys should be kind of through most of those contracts. Like, I had a lot of contracts this life, um, and I feel like I'm done with them all. Now the only contract I have left is with me and my twin flame, which is amazing. And we made sure to contract ourselves to each other for infinity. <laughs> like, like, forever. Like, so that's really amazing. Um, so you really have complete control over your life. You're kind of done with those contracts that sucked. You know, we came here to pay off karma. It wasn't great. You're done with that. You can create whatever you want. And um, destiny... Um, we're contracted to do things, but you can create your destiny. You can create your reality. Um, I'm going to let you guys go on that note, but I am going to be available um, for private readings and for healing sessions. You can check out my site, and I'll be back, um, hopefully, with Shocker Cards to do a broadcast tomorrow. Sending you guys all love and light, and um, go manifest some stuff.